Chuck, Chucky over here. Um, obviously, you guys had a lot of guys contribute today, but I'm just curious with what Connor was able to do on the offensive end. What do you think that would mean for him and also for the team? Absolutely. When Connor comes off the bench and gives an extra spot like that, we all get excited. We all uh, want to want to see him. Uh, um, succeed. So when we when we when he's hitting shots like that, you know, it gives us momentum, gives the crowd momentum because you know the crowd loves it when he when he gets into it. So um, you know, we just always look for Connor when he's in the game, and we know he's going to knock it down. We believe in him. Oh, go ahead, Nick. Right hey, hey, Connor. Kind of going off Jeff's question, you know, just what was a game like this today? Like, obviously hitting some shots, but also making an impact defensively. I think drawing a couple of fouls, uh, offensive fouls, and then showing some emotion after some of those as well. Yeah, just kind of making the the most, you know, while I'm in there. Um, you never know, you know, when your your last game, your last minute will be. Um, and to be able to go out there and just kind of play hard, you know, make you know winning plays on both ends of the floor, you know, that's something I've been working on a lot recently. Uh, and it kind of translates from practice too. So to to have it going on both ends, it was great. Better right next to for Connor just. Did you know going in that you'd be getting into the game earlier? Had there been you had a talk with Greg or regarding that, or did you just find out when you got in? I mean, it was just you know kind of game time, you know, as it as it happened. Um, so like like I said earlier, kind of making most of what I got, I'm always staying ready. Retired. What does it say about this team? I mean, 36-18 bench points, I think 23 in the first half. Just what does it say about the about y'all's depth and how much deeper are you this year than maybe in the past? I mean, yeah, we get that second group in, we get the third group in, and you don't really see um, a dip in the numbers, or if there is, um, it's not too much. So there's not really stressing about the next group coming in or who's in there. Um, when we get a group of five out there, they're, put, they're putting in their best effort um, and trying to trying to stick to what we do. And so I feel like we've done a pretty good job of that over these uh, last few games, and we're going to look to keep it going. Michael. Connor, obviously, Greg's said a lot about defense and you know you've been the good demanding a lot of your defense over the last couple games and then you know can you put in the perspective the pressure I guess you feel on that end uh, to make plays and you know what the relief it was that I guess make a few today yeah I mean it's always something that you know I've known I'd need to get better at um, and, and coach and teammates have always been on me about it ever since the the day before I got here even um, and so to be able to go out there and just kind of you know have that in the back of my mind that that's the area that I know I need to get better at um, so I'm really just going out there doing the best I can every day. Go ahead, Michael. Uh, Chucky, you were in a bit of a slump of your own, I guess, uh, to see a couple free threes. <clears throat> I guess when that shot starts to fall with all the improvements that you've made, how does that you know, change your ceiling as a player, I guess, within this offense? So it just gives me more confidence. You know, uh, it makes us even harder to guard because when I'm hitting threes, when Connor's hitting threes, you know, when multiple of us are hitting threes, you know, it just makes us harder to guard and kind of got to extend. And we got enough players that can get to the rim, so it just opens things up. <coughs> got one in the back. And... Tyler is one of the leaders on this team and you know just kind of you guys have always prided yourself um, as a strong defensive team but the way that you guys get defensive stops move fast in the transition and can turn those <clears throat> excuse me turn those into points quickly what does it say about how dangerous this team could be not just in the Big Ten but you know across the nation I mean yeah we're, we're not we're not known for really running up and down but we're going to take advantage of those opp opportunities um, and I feel like we got good defensive players on the team um, where we're, we're playing as a, as a team, playing as a solid group. I um, mean, we're able to take advantage of those. So, um, I mean, we're not necessarily looking to get steals, but when we turn that pressure up, we're, we're looking to get get easy buckets and disrupt the timing for sure. Go ahead, Ben. Connor, right in front here. Has this year been any more or less mentally challenging than last year for you? Yeah, I mean, I feel like it has been a little bit more, um, but, you know, just kind of taking the adversity that's came, you know, my way, you know, starting with the back injury um, and all that, and just kind of taking it head on, you know, going at it and taking it to heart. Uh, and I feel like it's made me, you know, a better basketball player, you know, to this point, even a better person as well. And so, you know, the challenges that, that have came my way, you know, it's something I'll take the next one on too head to head. Jeff, Tyler, over here. Um, before you came in, their coach talked about the fact he said he thought his team played well in off FM well enough offensively to win. I'm just curious, are they hard to guard? Because they put up some decent numbers. And also, 
even though they scored some points against you guys, does the fact that your offense is much more effective this year take pressure off you? <clears throat> I mean, yeah, they're good. I don't know. They shot pretty well from three, and this team where you get them go or they get going behind the line, and it can be it can be a long night for you. So I feel like we did a pretty good job um, of limiting those numbers, but they still hit a good amount. Um, and what was the other part of the question? Just knowing that you can score more oh, yeah. easily um, than you did last year. Well, I mean, it does help. We got a lot of guys um, that can put the ball in the hoop, and I feel like a lot of guys are oozing in confidence. Where maybe last year it wasn't as wasn't as high as this. Um, so we're gonna look to keep it going. Um, and yeah, just keep keep scoring. One more for the players. Go ahead, Nick. Yeah, for Tyler and, and Chucky. Uh, you know, Tyler, you just mentioned kind of some of the oozing confidence. I was going to ask a, a couple of days ago. Steven said that you know the confidence is a little bit higher within this group. There's like a special feeling or confidence right now. Just can you speak to how you've kind of seen that a little bit compared to maybe previous years, and just how important it is games like this as well as upcoming road games too. I mean, I feel like the confidence really, really helps when, uh, just from experience. Where last year we went through a lot of games where we were in them, we were right in there at the end of the game, and we let them slip away, or we'd come out on top. And so, um, being battle tested through those has really helped us. Um, another year of just the off season, getting perfecting our craft, um, and then I just feel like the chemistry. Everyone's got confidence in each other. Um, there's not a three that I wouldn't have anyone on the team shoot. So. Um, I feel like that goes for other people, and we just got um, ultimate confidence in, in our team.